Hey, 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 it's like the news guy bringing you another review. Well, today we have a big set. It's a anticipated Harry Potter set. Besides Diagon Alley. It's the second biggest Lego Harry Potter set so far. Um... In 2011, this was the big. I mean, in 2010, this was the biggest until um 2011 when um Diagon Alley came out. So it's a really neat set. I like it. Uh, yeah. So today we have set 4842 Hogwarts Castle with. 1,290 pieces. Took me around four or five hours to build. It's a fun build. F few pieces I'm missing. I'm missing pe these kind of pieces that go around the building. I like the astronomy tower. The top of the astronomy tower and Dumbledore's office. But it's not. It's not really important pieces. So crap. Um, yeah, so show you the box. Got people right there. I I don't have these because they got on my nerves. They're a pain in the butt to get out, so I took them out. Mini fix. Oh, I need to get Miss Norris. Sorry about that. The back of the box basically shows everything that every little feature in the set. I need to get something on it. Sorry. Instruction booklets, they're numbered. You get, let me see, hold on. Ten instruction booklets. And, yeah, one has. First one has like fifty two around. Um, two has seventy one and one has fifty two or three. Here's all your mini figures. Okay. It doesn't come to set this time to review the mini figures. Start with your first minifig, your main minifigure, Harry Potter.
he's invisible. Here's your invisibility cup. And he has those side face with his um that was Dumbledore and this is Hermione I didn't say it, with his normal face with that glasses. Your Argus Filch minifig. One dot side face stubble. Cool little pants Got one side face. Got the same torso. He's got short legs, same torso as Green Goss Goblins. I guess just things Goblins. I don't know. Here is your Professor Mingon. Professor McGonagall. Oh yeah, this is Professor Flitwick. Professor Flitwick. Yeah. Yeah, cool wizard hat. Mm, kind of, this is kind of hard to get off. Your snake minifigure, sorry, I don't have good focus on my camera. It's got a cool um torso, cool hair piece, his face is cool, he's got a black wand. No double side face or back printing. The mentor. Where's your other Dementor? I'm not going to do that because they're showing their same exact so and your last minifigure sorry it's been taking so long Lord Voldemort
until 2012 this was the only set you could get him in well this um version cool it's got his cut in eyes got no nose so um lines right there on his face and got his yellow teeth cool um torso and his little white and his there he's like albino so what happens when you don't brush your teeth you get albino bald no nose and yellow teeth don't know how it affects baldness albino -ness, and no nose but yeah and he's got his white bone wand yeah, that's all the minifigures. I move them over here. And there's an extra minifigure inside. But I'll show you that once we get to it. They don't count it as a minifigure, but it is a minifigure. So yeah, I use it to I use it to make a um um Igniter Skylanders mock. Here's the vanishing cabinet. Got you two fires right there. Cool stuff in right there. Let me get Harry Potter. Where'd he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? There, now we're stuck in the vanishing cabinet. Be up here's your uh oh yeah Argus fleshy because you need PT. Here's your Here's the for the library, the forbidden section. Basically what you do is you get the keys and you flip them up. They're supposed to knock off the handcuffs. These weren't as close, so it didn't work for that. And you can slide it open. And get a book. There's three books, and they're all brown. The four books in total in the set. That's cool. I haven't had any books. There's great pieces in the set that I'm happy that I got the set to get the great pieces. Like book and fire and great minifigs and stuff so yeah here's scabbers ron's mouse but it doesn't go with ron I'm stupid i had to get ron from my mom I had to trade her some stuff but it's the old yellow ron oh do a review of him here's the telescope see i don't have the pieces that go here but they're not important pieces telescope i did a how to video on it i don't think i uploaded it yet but um, cause right now it's not uploaded, but if it's uploaded before this is, then it is uploaded. I don't know if I'm going to upload before I upload this. Maybe after. It's a cool telescope. Look at the front. Wait, let's look at the side. Great detail on the front. You got your two axes right there. And two curves and stuff. And you got these poking out which adds great detail now move on to your first your second tower the dormitory tower let me show you the great detail this is all stickers except for um these tiles everything stickers except those if you pay attention to harry potter movies you see this thing going up, so they recreated it, which is cool. Here's the. I'm gonna get a flashlight. <coughs> you can see in there. You got your um clear cup and. The Quibbler, copy the Quibbler, the world's 
The Wizarding World's alternative voice. Harry Potter speaks out at last. Got a picture of Harry Potter. Right there, you got two snakes right there, and your torch, and the Slytherin logo. And here you have, here's your extra minifig. The knight, I'll pull him out in a second. Here's your spider. And you get your minifig. Here's your knight minifig. It's basically all gray with this chest plate and then and then this head's just normal black put it back so I can show you the mechanism turn him over I guess Harry speaks pause the tongue and then you get Tom Riddle's diary that's the extra book and that's the other book Black, plain black book. Go up one level. Got same silver cup. Oh yeah, here you got two swiveling black chairs. They actually swivel all the way. It's just this stuff blocking it. And here you got two red swiveling chairs for Gryffindor. And you got the Marauders map tile piece. And here, here, your Gryffindor fireplace. I actually did good, jo better job um, designing this this one than Southern. Southern, I like, kind of like it, but I really like what they did with the fireplace. Got two fires, and also your hidden your mechanism. This right here. They have to push it in when you. Uh, by doing, if you're making like a mock and doing an overview of this side, you have to push this in because if you have it like this, this looks weird. This mechanism in, and you get serious black space in the fire. Let me see if I can take out the tile. Kind of, it looks, it's basically Nizam from the Prince Persia Legos basically his face up the last level is the Owry you got Hedwig, Errol and Pidwidgeon I think Hedwig the white one, Errol's the brown one and Pidwidgeon is the gray one and you got the white studge which is poop that piece right there. Moving on to your next tower, the Great Hall, the biggest one. Great detail on the Great Hall. You got this stuff. Go these. If you take these off. This you can move up. I don't think they're really meant to do that way. They feel like this way can be tilted, but I figured out you could do that. And Voldemort can just figure it out and just look in at everybody when nobody's paying attention. Just paying attention to Dumbledore. He look in and attack. Got the cool stained glass um window and you got this little um rooftop thing coming out and you got a cool wooden door. Leads in and you got a key keyhole that comes with two keys. The set comes with two keys. Here's the these are actually switch. Slytherin goes here, Gryffindor goes here, but I switched them because Gryffindor table's here and the Slytherin table's here, so I just put them like this. This, these are stickers. And here's the little candelabra. Since you can't have an enchanted um, roof, 
um so if they did saying get effect of it do two axes you have four axes total in the set hold on sorry I'm trying to make the two axes even Okay, and I'm in the high table. Got two staff chairs. And um, right here you got this cool piece that extends out, which is cool. So, oh uh, yeah, and then this up and out up, which is cool. It's real high. And now, uh, your last. Oh, here's a chair. Oh yeah, I didn't show you. Well, you saw, but you didn't get really in depth, and I didn't talk about it. Three cups, a turkey, croissant, and cherries. You also get a green cherry, and you get this cool cake with this yellow ice cream on top, and four goblets. Yeah. Going to the last tower in the set. Sorry, 22 minutes. Got the fire right here. Door. Windows. Cool. It's really good detail on this cast. On this tower. And you got the cool. This is all one piece except for this. This is all one piece. And here you got your bat, which is cool. Cool bat. And bat. That's cool. Okay, look inside. Look in the bottom. Let's take the chest out and see what's in it. You got a piece of paper and the reversal stone. Here's your reversal stone. And then this says, you are far more powerful than you could ever imagine. Sorry, like I said, my camera doesn't have good focus. So yeah, I need to get a new one. Maybe that has good focus. Put this back in there. And you got Secret James Potter thing, two goblets, which are supposed to be trophies. And here's your chance of staircase. It's like in the movie where there's the eagle staircase and you gotta say password and does that to go up to his actual office. You got a thing that goes over, I don't know where it is. You got the Daily Prophet. Uh, let me get it out. Read you what it says. It says, Daily Prophet, exclusive. Mayhem at high security prison, Azkaban. Mass breakout from Azkaban. Got a little picture of Azkaban right there. You can't really see it, but it's a deal of profit. And then, there's your magnifying glass because some of the results. It actually works, which is cool. See? It actually works. It's cool. Take these both out. Here's the first one that goes right here. You got a frog and these um, potions. And he, you take the top off and you get a basilisk thing. I guess where Dumbledore put it. Along when um, he gave it to him. When Harry gave it to him. Along with the thing that's in here. It's back in me. Because I do. I've done this review set like five times. And. Every time I've had to go back and um, put everything back because um, it's like I took everything out and didn't put it back and it took me a long time so I'm putting it back as I go. Here's this one. You got oh oh sorry oh sorry. No, I was using flashlight like I was doing. He got this one with a lot more versions. Open it up and he got Harry's Hogwarts letter. It says Harry on it I think.
guys cool chair back there it's big fit for Dumbledore the key fit for a key you got the cool long piece and you got sword of Gryffindor too bad this is the Griff Godric Gryffindor that'd be cool there's Schmidt hey Lego if you're watching would you probably not cause you pay attention to the brick show more which I understand because they actually buy a lot of other sets, but I can't because I'm a kid. But if you're listening, if you ever make another Hogwarts, you should get this again, but put Godric Gryffindor on it. That'd be cool. And you got the sorting hat, which is cool. They put his detail on his face. So that's cool. So that's your set. Now let's talk about it. Um, it's. The price of it is about. One hundred and ten dollars around there, one ten, one twenty. And I don't know how many price the price would be. So let me get a calculator because I'm gonna start doing that now. I'm gonna start doing that now. So you can be informed by the picture that is. Okay. Say it's one fifteen. One fifteen. Divided by how many pieces? 100, About 11.2 cents per piece. A little high, but it's around there. It's a really cool set. If you ever get the chance, pick it up. I know it's a big set, and a lot of people can't get it. I've been wanting this for like, um, I got it twenty the 2011 Christmas. But I've been wanting it all 2010, 2011. So I finally got it. So it's a big ticket item. So you might want to not keep asking for it. Ask for it for your birthday or Christmas because economy's tough and gas prices are going up a lot and yeah your parents can't get a big big set for you just cuz they'll probably get like maybe a holly bag set or a $20 set for some reason like been good or something but they can't get like a huge set just because it's gotta be like your birthday or something or Christmas or whatever because it's kind of tough right now so and gas prices are going up a lot in Kentucky and like around Louisville like Oklahoma something like that but where the Jefferson Mall is it's like 385 to almost four dollars so yeah gas prices are getting high so, same thing with Skylanders, Skylanders or something that everybody wants, but like I said, the economy's tough, so, and they didn't plan that around the time, but they probably would have made the retail prices a little less. They didn't plan that the economy was going to be really tough. People were losing jobs and stuff, so, yeah. My best friend is kind of poor and he's going through a lot of stuff so yeah economy's tough right now so it's a big set I got it for Christmas so yeah they'll probably get like a big ticket on for like Christmas or something because we'll try to get it but economy's tough so can't get your hopes up too high yeah I do have some other sets I read. I think I reviewed, and I upload. Let's just say the ones I uploaded. I saw the Mirrors of Pride of Caribbean, um, Love World from SpongeBob, and Forbidden Forest from Harry Potter. So I got a 2011 set I reviewed. So yeah. Hope you liked my review. I tried to make it good for you. It's at like 30 minutes, so yeah.
play a new guy. I try to get, I try to get in depth, a big in depth review for you, so that you know everything that's in the set. And so, yeah, don't get it from Toys R Us because, I mean, if you have to, do it. But since the economy's tough, don't try to get it from Toys R Us. If you have to, it's fine, but they always raise up the prices really super duper high, so. Skyrim is just like $7, they have them for like $10. And totally, if you're watching, you should be ashamed. Hey, can I have like a little job? Like, uh, work there? I'll ask you. But yeah, uh, if you're watching Toys R Us, which you're probably not, because they got better things to do, but if you are, Raise your prices down, man. They're at too high and the economy's tough. Gas prices are really high. Yeah. Um, comment. Com really, comment. I like comments because not a lot of people leave in comments and I don't like that because it's not one of those things. Leave a comment. I mean, um, I don't know if you like my, um, my customs, my mocks, my if I re review the set good, or if you want to set, if there's a set you really want to review, I probably will do Sky. I mean, not Skylanders, Star Wars a lot, cause you know I like Star Wars a lot. They they kind of seem it's, it's hard to explain it, but it's like its own little thing, its own little thing that has like kind of boring. I mean, they're cool. I mean, it's just so like ships, and it just kind of, kind of gets boring to me. So I won't do a lot, but I do a lot of other stuff like City and Harry Potter and Pirates of the Caribbean and SpongeBob and stuff like that. And Ninjago. I, I want to get some Ninjago sets. I have a spinner, but I gave the guy to my stepdad. It was Bones Eye. I still have a spinner. I think it. Let me go see if I. Can. So you even though Yeah, it's like uh, I can't find it. Yeah, it's like a news guy sawn off. Peace my homies.